when you have teachers like that that have like a nasty attitude it makes me be like how do you act towards my child it's just certain people that don't need to be in childcare, and i feel like she one of them nobody should have to work multiple jobs just to make ends meet good morning everybody i just wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog today is monday june the 5th um i just had a conversation with king's teacher which honestly i did not realize she was his teacher until um like a few months ago and the one that's his teacher i really don't care for to be honest with you it's just be little stuff like she's kind of like a negative nancy kind of person and uh, I'm just not here for it. Like, it's little small stuff that she be trying to be shady about. Like, if the director making certain changes, she just be trying to be shady about it. She basically today was talking to me about how far along King has came as far as uh, counting and knowing certain things or whatever. And she wanted me to sign this paper, but I thought she was going to the back to get the paper for me to sign. And I guess she wanted me to follow her. And I'm pretty sure she was talking about me to the director or whatever. And they was like, you can just sign it in the morning. Okay, well, why can't I just sign it right now? I'm like, could you not find the paper or something? Like, she just real shady. I don't like the way she operates. So I really wish, uh, to be honest with you, I, I wish that wasn't my child's um, teacher. Because when you have teachers like that, that have like a nasty attitude, it makes me be like, how do you act towards my child? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't like that. And she act like she half don't want to be there anyway. So just find you another job, sweetie, because you don't like, no, I don't, I don't like that. So, you know, the daycare, I think overall is a great daycare. King likes it, but it's, she is the only one that like, it's just certain people that don't need to be in childcare. And I feel like she one of them. Like, girl, she asked me uh, at my old job, she asked me what I do and you know, all this stuff like she wanted to work there or something please go ahead and quit because i don't want to be i don't want my son to be around somebody like you anyways that was just a quick little teacher rant i guess i'm gonna get ready to um get me some food and i need to get some water as well because i really don't drink enough water this morning i didn't have time because i was so busy trying to get king's car seat together i didn't have time to do my journal i honestly have been slacking like when it comes to that so um usually when i don't do it at home i just try to find some time to do it um while i'm in my car so it's currently seven almost seven thirty right now so i always give myself to like eight o'clock to start doing little y'all probably don't even care about none of this but i mean this is just a day in my life a day in the life i guess um me since i'm not working full time this is just my day to day at this point until i can find me something so um i'll check back in with y'all probably after i get my starbucks i'm a starbucks y'all already know caramel iced coffee for the win cream and sugar and i'll be getting the water too because again i need to drink more water and they didn't have my spinach fried egg white wrap so i got this turkey this looks disgusting i got a turkey bacon and egg white sandwich i guess let me put some hand sanitizer on. Hold on. Let me try to prop y'all up. Okay, I tried to wipe off the, the thing as most as <laughs> best as I could, girl. I ain't got much to work with. So um I guess this is just gonna be a quick like life update as well. Look at the sandwich, y'all. First of all, it looks flat. Where's the turkey at? Or did they mean turkey bacon? Girl, I was expecting it to be like a turkey patty. Oh my little child. I'ma eat it. I'ma eat it because it's five dollars. No, this is so bitter. Mm -mm. That's why I like when that other girl be working because she do it good. Or whoever, I don't know. I honestly feel burnt out already doing lifts. So I quit my job. It's been what, like a month? No, April. I quit at the end of April. So it, yeah, it's been a month. It's a few days since I quit my job. And I'm honestly already burnt out on Lyft. Now, granted, Lyft does come through. It has came through better than my job because I don't have to wait on my money. 
but when you talk it takes a toll on my car mileage wise gas wise i have to like my maintenance has to be done more frequent now on my car it puts a lot of miles on my car like i didn't want to have this car for a long time but now i feel like i'm stuck with it because i've accrued so much so many miles but i'm just burnt out like i'm just ready to find my purpose in life like for real and i keep asking myself like what do you really want to do and that's really is what's gonna like i guess help me figure out my purpose first i have to figure out what i want to do but lift i'm just i'm burnt out of lift like i don't like because i actually did like lift because i do enjoy meeting new people talking to people because i have some really good conversations with people like the lady that um I had a bad experience with that rarely happens to me like rarely and even if it is something bad it's something very small and i just be like i don't want to want them riding in my car i feel like having all of those people all that energy different vibes and all that stuff in your car it just kind of somewhat sometimes it, it gets to me it takes a toll on me i don't be wanting to interact with people sometimes sometimes I'm not having a good day. Like mentally, I don't be in the best space to even do live, but I have to do it to pay my bills. And I think that's why I don't like doing it anymore because it's now, it's no longer a side hustle. It's a whole job. It's a full-time job. I have to do it. So even when I don't be wanting to deal with people, I still have to do it. And I did download the, um, the Uber app so I could do Uber Eats to where i don't have to interact with people but that don't be paying good sometimes like it'll tell me i'm finna get ten dollars and then i only end up getting like six dollars out of the ride so i don't know like i think i just have to learn more about the app but um i do want to start trying to see what it's like to drive for uber too but for some reason i'm having issues with my registration so I'm gonna have to call them and see because my registration is definitely up to date. So I'm gonna just call them and see what's going on with that. But it's just, life is just life in right now. Like it's just, it's just hard out here. Like this is, before the pandemic, I never struggled this hard to get a job. And then you applying for job. Like, it's not like I'm just sitting on my butt not doing anything. I'm applying for jobs, but the job is either a scam. Like I had a Zoom interview the other day. The person didn't even show up huh so it's 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 hard y'all right now like the economy that we we in my opinion we already in a recession and and then you know you got jobs that's hiring but they only paying 11 12 dollars an hour that's not a livable wage that's why i left my old job like nobody should have to work multiple jobs just to make ends meet the first the main job that you have should be the one that pays you enough money so that's just a quick little rant i'm sorry y'all if y'all didn't want to hear that but again this is the day of my life and i wanted to kind of do a life update too because i know i said i quit my job but i haven't really just said i guess how i truly how it's been since i've quit my job basically so that's just a little update on that i'm gonna go ahead i was gonna try to do my journals but it's um it's a few minutes after eight now so i want to go ahead and get started because i do have a goal that i need to reach today so um as the day progresses i'll just try to check back in with y'all i just drove like 10 or 15 minutes it's now going on 8 30 i have not received not one ride request and that's one thing i don't like i don't like driving around not getting no rides for like a long period of time like i really really don't like that so I'm just but to to try to save gas because gas is still three dollars. Um, I'm just pulled over in a parking lot and then I'm gonna go ahead and journal and um, do my goals and all of that stuff like that. Um, because again, I don't want to just be adding unnecessary miles onto my car. Most of the time, like you can drive to a certain area and start getting rides, but some mornings it is good and some mornings it's not. This song right here, shout out to Kiara for putting me on. But this is like a daily song for me. It's kind of encouraging and this is a good song. One thing I'm going to be completely honest about. So I told y'all what this book looks like. It's got today's affirmation goals for today. I am looking forward to. Girl, I can't think of no affirmations. And then I wanted to download this app that sends you daily affirmations, honey, but you have to pay every month. And I just feel like that's a scam. So 
I be trying to come up with affirmations, but I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to sound deep like everybody else. So I struggle with that. My goals, I feel like kind of be the same because this, the goals that I have, like the day before, I don't accomplish them. So it's kind of a repetitive thing for me. And then I'm looking forward to, sometimes I don't know what I'm looking forward to. So I be, it's going to take me a little minute to get in the groove of this whole journaling and, and writing your goals down because it's just hard for me to try to think. I don't know. <laughs> much, much, much later. I'm just now getting home. I think for the most part, I pretty much got everything done that I needed to get done. But I just want to take a quick second to brag about God. Like, I was getting so emotional in the car. I already cried, so I'm not even going to. I'm not going to cry on camera. I can't stand when people do that. But God is so good. Like, when I say he will make a way out of no way, like, you really have to trust him. Like, because I am i don't be doubting God, but I still be worried, if that makes sense. Like, I trust God, but I still be worried. It's like I be knowing he going to make a way, but it still worries me not knowing how he's going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just think today he was just kind of like, see, this is why you just stop worrying. My anxiety was on like a thousand. Like, I was really trying to calm myself down. Like, the devil was really working, but you know what? God was working harder, honey. He was working harder. Um, so I'm home now. I'm waiting on King to get home. His dad picks him up from daycare. Um, I did go ahead and buy him something to eat. Let's just hope he eats it. Um, I got a few things to spruce up around the house. And then I'm gonna start my self-care. <laughs> I just feel so refreshed, so like, I just feel good. Like, my mood is just excellent. I started on that book, it's called The Secret. I tried to show y'all, um, but it is really good. It's basically just about, um, you attract what you think. Like, if you think negative thoughts, negative things are gonna come to you. If you think positive thoughts, positive things are gonna come to you. And I know a lot of people like, of course I already knew that, but like you just really don't realize our minds are so powerful. Like I overthink so much. And when I overthink, I overthink in a negative way. I can literally think myself into a bad mood. Like, and I think that's why my anxiety has gotten worse because I just, I just think too, too, too deep on stuff, too much, too hard. And so I think this book is gonna help me mentally like, really try to try to get get it back on track and just be more positive and just have a better outlook on life in general much 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 later about to work on my closet finally honey it looks a mess okay it looks a mess <sighs> when we moved i just kind of kept everything in bins and then now since i've unpacked i kind of just been throwing stuff on top of it top of each other so i just want to show you out the before and then um 
I don't think I'm going to show the full process of me working on it just because I don't want to get overwhelmed with trying to film and actually organize. So this is the before. Lord have mercy. I don't know how I'm going to make this work. I really don't. I have no like extra storage anywhere. So I don't know, honey. All right. So this is what we are looking like now. It just looks so small from the camera but um i'm still not done like i have a lot of work to do but i feel like it looks better at least i can see um, my floor now i'm very tempted to just get a storage a actual storage unit because i i can't deal with having all this in my closet like this like I'm still going to, I still need to fold this stuff and actually reorganize my bins and put everything back in bins. Like, why, why do I have a cooler? <laughs> we used this one time for King's birthday, literally one time. Uh, my wigs are up there. My purses are up there. I like those up there, but it's, just, I have a lot of space, a lot of shelving that I just don't know what I'm going to do with. I want to get some clear containers to put my shoes in. Maybe that'll help, but I just, I don't I don't like this like I don't want to feel claustrophobic walking into my closet so I'm gonna to have to figure that out this is just gonna be a ongoing project at this point honey <laughs> 